This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Yeah. What do you think of this Chris Masters presentation? You ever seen this before? I've never seen this before, but man, he's all jacked up. This is like, uh, I don't know, the Lex Luger of 2006. And by the way, a big listener to the show. So shout out to Mr. Masters. Yeah. Chris Masters, uh, got himself a kind of a low key big hog here. Seemingly. Oh, oh I didn't see that. Well, I, I kind of, well, there you go. I'm not looking for it, Tony. I'm just, well, I'm not looking for it either. Conrad, but it's, sometimes it just kind of, uh, who's the guy with the apple. That's Carlito. Oh, Carly, Carlito. That's uh Carlos Colon son. Okay. There you go. How about that finishing maneuver? Yeah. I think the first time I saw that was Alex Shelley and I was convinced that was the coolest fucking move ever. Yeah. The, the backstabber or the lung blower or the, there's Matt Stryker. Yeah. There's my buddy, Matt Stryker. Holy my God. He had Argyles on. That's a cool look. All right. So Matt Stryker has got himself a set and a, a chalkboard and looks like he's got a, uh, modern day. Uh, as 2006 would have been uh, brother love type set. So here we go. Can't wait to see this man. I'm excited. Carlito and Chris masters, man, Chris masters. Look at you, man. Did he get a pretty good push he did for them for back a, then? He, he did for a minute. And then when they started enforcing the, uh, the testing mm -hmm. policy and made him get off the gas, of course, yeah. he lost a lot of weight. And then they did a vignette where Shawn Michaels and triple H made fun of him mm -hmm. and he was dead. There you go. He was dead. I spit you swallow. <laughs> they got away with a lot of stuff. Uh, 2006 to do. St well, this is pay-per-view. I get it, but now he wore the shirt on TV every week. You could go to the shop zone and get that. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. So, uh, no, by that sign, apparently we're in Providence, Rhode Island. It's no worse than, uh, the shirts over at lowestrules.com. Yeah, the, the shirts at lowestrules.com are, are cutting edge. Thank you very much. By the way, I should mention this smash is going to go nine minutes and 58 seconds. Wade Keller's torch would give it a dud rating. Wow. But for what it's worth, your boy, Brian Alvarez gave it a star and a half. Okay. So does, uh, Brian Alvarez still, I know he has a radio show. Does he still write a newsletter or is he just. Yeah. On yeah, he's still okay. the newsletter. Okay. I don't oh I don't read any of the newsletters. So so there. I only that, read I only read the observer, but this right. week the observer wasn't posted, so, so okay. okay. Here's figure four weekly, here's torch. Okay. Gotcha. I uh I I, I do like the scene. I as as far as the look of the crowd, I mean it's 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 you know, all the lights are on and it looks full and it, it has a big, big show look to it. I like that. I mean, look, you can see in the upper reaches there. Let's go. Well, what do you think about the black turnbuckles and the red ropes? Uh, it's kind of mundane. Have I ever used that word on this podcast before mundane? No, I think you just broke it out. How about that? It's kind of mundane, but. I I hate these color canvases. We've watched a few other promotions that have darker canvases. And I know you don't like that, but I really prefer yeah. it. Ring of honor. Once upon a time used a black one. And I thought it looked really cool. Yeah. And that's probably because not many people do it, but I always liked the white. I just thought the white I've said this before. White makes it pop. I mean, that's the center focus of the whole thing. And it's white. So it made it pop and light. Hey, there's George Nalabatano on the, Hey, how you doing? There he is. He's shooting away. I love that. Every time you see him, you go straight into, Hey, how you doing? Well, that's, that's George. Hey, how you doing? Hey, hey so, uh, around this time, I, I think we should bring up the fact that around this time, uh, that we are posting this, this, uh, podcast that they were supposed to have the, uh, cauliflower alley club. Yeah. Um, and they were unable to do it this week because of, of course the, uh, the pandemic, I guess they're moving that to the summer, right? Yeah. From what I hear the the temporary plan is they'll move it to the summer, but you know, who knows, they may wind up having to move it a few more times or maybe just do it next year. I don't have any inside information. I just know it's something that I've enjoyed attending over the years. And uh, mm -hmm. you and I got to hang out around one uh, last mm -hmm. year and it was a good time. Yeah, it was a good time. So, and I'm, I'm very, very, uh, much into, 
uh, trying to help them out and uh, just trying to help out the, you know, the wrestlers that watch there, they're talking on the floor now, trying to help out the wrestlers that, that need help from the old days. So you're gonna Since I'm, you need I'm help, getting old, you know I just realized there's not a person in the ring right now that still works for WWE. Carlito, mm. Chris Masters, and uh, Mike Chioda, all now gone. And on the call, it's Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler. It's, uh, so much has changed. Wow. Did All right. Uh, chat me up there. Did Carlito end up wearing a mask? No. He did not. You're thinking of Primo and Epico? Those are uh, kinfolk of his who are a tag Pro- team? Um, probably so. Were just For some reason, released. I thought that Carlos Colon's son had worn a mask at one time. So may have worn one in the bedroom. I don't know. Uh, okay. okay. But he didn't wear one right here. So he, he had the Apple gimmick and this match being a dud is, uh, <laughs> these guys, did you see the guys in the shirts? The uh, down there in the bottom left, they're, they're popping the bird to the camera every chance they get. Yeah. They're trying to get themselves over. Yeah. I know. Trying to hijack the show. Little shits. You little motherfuckers. Makes me happy. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com. <laughs> 